Hello again, it's Marcia from Then and There. I know I don't say that every time, but um, you, if you clicked on my video, you should know um, the name of my channel. Anyways, um, I have two um, junk journals that I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, they're both very different, in my opinion. Uh, kind of the two sides of me. We got the edgy and the the softer side. Um, <laughs> the reason I wanted to do them both at the same time and to show them is because they do have a common theme. The common theme is bags. This one is a zip pouch with a strap. This one is a purse turned um, traveler's notebook junk journal. Traveler's notebook style junk journal. Let's put it like that. Um, and I will just show you each one. We'll start with this one. This one has a cover that was a purse. It is faux leather. It's not real leather. When I picked it up, I thought it was real leather, but then after I got home, I found the tag and found that it wasn't. But it's really soft. It feels really nice in the hand. It has some texture to it. Um, and I like the zipper on it, and I like the hardware, which I kept on. I added eyelets for the... Oops, in frame added eyelets for the elastics, um, added a tassel here with a key and bead charm as well onto this um, hook here which was for the straps and there is one here as well um, just an elastic around the middle to hold it closed and I'll show you just in this pocket I've just added some ephemera, a vintage postcard, a um, notes to self little um yeah just some stuff to journal on write on you could stick that in the book if you chose to alter it and a label the theme of this is uh, it's not really a theme but the color scheme is black and white and um artsy it's more of an artsy kind of thing the inside of the purse it originally snapped closed but um the snaps don't reach anymore which is why it has an elastic on it. So I reinforced the spine with some lace and some fabric to give it more structure to hold the elastic um, properly. Um, I made an insert, which I will get into here in a minute. There is a um, like a credit card type pocket here, which I've just added in some little bits of ephemera. Um, some of them are kind of fussy to get in and out, but um, my thoughts on this is that if you didn't want to use it for a junk, uh, like an art journal, which is my main um, purpose for it. This is a sticker, the rose. Um, I guess I could just pull them all out and then just tell you, or put them back in later. We got a little um, card here that says starter, a sticker with a rose, just a stamped image of a tree. This is just some pretty um, paper to journal on and a perpetual calendar. My thoughts are if you didn't want to use this as an art journal, journal, you could just use it as like a wallet type traveler's notebook. I did measure this is seven inches by three and a quarter, I believe, if I remember correctly, um, which fits quite well the pocket calendars that you can pick up at Walmart or Dollar Tree or um, Office Max or wherever you would pick up a calendar from. So you would have a calendar for planning and your wallet all in one, which I use a uh, traveler's notebook similar to that. It's my wallet. So that was my thoughts on that, but I also thought it would be cool as an art journal. So in the back, this would be like a, like a, your ID spot. I just put a couple cards in here. This is a um, collage, photograph collage that I made and just a card that I stamped on. It says explore, dream, discover. And then into the Traveler's Notebook. The cover is collaged with all these different images, some um, pattern paper, music paper, and uh, dictionary paper, some stenciling, a vintage image here of some ladies' um, shoes, a vintage uh, printout of a stamp, just all kinds of different um, things collaged together. Got some fabric sewn to the edge. It is uh, stitched all the way around. A little collaging here with a sticker. 
vintage image in lace. This is uh, like a yearbook page. Book page, some stamping throughout, a little collage here. A little tuck here with a vintage receipt in it. Um, just some more collaging here that you can journal on. Pocket with some extra writing paper. Dictionary page. This is a pocket. This was a book um, dust jacket. And a tag for journaling. A book page. This is an envelope and it has a card inside for journaling. And I did a little collage and stamping on here. It says dream. And on this side is another pocket with another little space for journaling and some collaging. A printed vintage image book page. This is a piece of uh, one of my, it's one of my watercolors printed out and just clipped on here. Has some trim sewn to the edge and that flips out with some stamping. That's the middle of the journal. A collaged um, index card which you can journal on. The other side of the envelope, just a little tag right there, a tag for journaling, and a stamped image on a card to journal. The bit of trim stapled on there, a sticker on the edge of that, a little uh, just paper for journaling. It's got a stamp on it. A sticker, which makes a tab, and a little um, coin, yeah, whatever that's called, with a <laughs> stamped tag, some more stamping, and just a place to write. In this pocket is just an old encyclopedia page that has some architecture um, images on it, some stamping, uh, stenciling, this here is an envelope made from an, um, a magazine page, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> and um, lines with coffee dyed paper, and inside is just more paper, it says this makes me happy, which, no, that one does not fold out. Yeah, I'm, I'm fiddling and fuzzing, I'll do that later, <laughs> and some more of those vintage ladies. And my little thing sewn on the edge there, the back. Um, yeah. So, and this pocket has a, a bunch more ephemera in it, which I'll just go through. Stuff that you can add to your journal if you choose to. Or, um, there's something else in there. Oh, another little label maker thing. Um, just some words that you could use in collage or something that says, Today at home. This is some um, deco tape with black and white flowers. Just some punched images and cut. Banner. Note to self. Unforgettable. All you need is love. Some stenciling on that. Love it. On this date. Banner. A paint chip um, in a black hearth it's called. A couple of labels. Just some pattern papers you can journal on. A tag a um, Project Life type card. Um, this was from another project. I just like that it says I want to be big. <laughs> you know, when you're a kid, you want to be big. When you want, when you get big, you, you know, what do you want to do when you get big? Um, a sticker, some uh, scraps of pattern paper just to use as collage, what have you, a sticker, some more Project Life type cards, and this is just a collage uh, or a painted um, journaling card. So my thoughts are you can use this to fill your um, journal as like an art journal type thing or to make um, cards like ATC, did I say that right? Yeah, ATC type cards which you can put in here because um, they're the same, they're about the same size I believe, credit card size to go along with your art journal or just what have you. Um, and that is this one. That is the black and white type one. I don't want to lose anything, so I'm going to put that to the side. And it, you can really stuff it full and do a lot with that, I think. 
This one is a zip pouch with the lace um, strap on it. This is lace as well. You can see that. But it makes a pocket is what I was trying to say. Pinned on here is a collage. Not collage. Well, it's kind of collaged um, charm made with the glossy accents. And it's got pressed flowers in it and a, the book page and uh, an image of a lady. Hopefully you can see that well. There you go. Now this journal is a bit snug in here and once you fill more stuff into it, it will be harder to put in the book, but it's still a great companion with the bag. So in here, this one's also meant to be like an art journal type um, project, I guess you could call it. So everything, yes, we have some punched paper, more paint chips, um, lace, a little tag, just a stamped image a coffee dyed bag, a little tab here, um, the good life, sort of is how that reads out, <laughs> a label, some just uh, scraps of pattern paper that can be used for journaling cards or collage, a sticker, a postcard, flashcard, thank you card that coordinates, this is a like a thesaurus I believe type um, book page a journaling card and an old postcard that um, has this pretty scenery on it and that is um, vintage it's all kinds of goodies to put in your book or use for collage or what have you and the book itself is made of this canvas fabric um, with a little layered little uh, title here it says captured mem uh, moments which is stitched on with some paper and canvas and lace. Pinned on here is a little button and a bead with a bell. And it is stitched around. And it has the same canvas fabric on the inside, as well as a pocket, which goes clear to the back. A tag here. This is a collaged um, index card with some stamping and fabric and stitching and a place to journal on the back a little bit of glue since there's plenty of stamping throughout this says my memory stamped on it a little tuck spot here with this um just a piece of like vintage letter <laughs> I can't I can't think a playing card which I've collaged and stitched around and added some lace in this little pocket here some baking paper this flips out and has some stamping on it a paper tab another tab here on this um, the cherry orchard it's a book page a little pocket here with just some extra journaling paper with a stamp on it more stamping, the book page, another envelope made from the magazine page, um, it's a design magazine, uh, just stamped little moments and a little binder clip and that's for journaling, and I will put that back on later, another tab, just a little vintage um, printout of a postcard there, in that pocket, some more little papers for you to journal on, book page, and a little tag here with the butterfly stamped on it, and some butterflies stamped on this as well for journaling. So there is this one, Captured Moments, and um, I don't know, I don't have a name for this one yet, but it'll be in the description either here or well, both here and on my Etsy, so these will be available in my shop. Um, so you can go take a look. The link will be listed below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.